Welcome back to Garage Science. This time we'll be turning this giant mess into something a little more organized. So join us on this trip. First thing we're gonna need is a detailed plan. And then we'll start processing our lumber. Screw some two by fours together with lag screws, add legs, add a skirt, add support bars for the drawers, flip it over and put it in place. This is what it's gonna replace, uh, old janky bookshelf. We're gonna add a shelf for our tools and then we'll start wiring. But go ahead and remember to get the kids involved and show them how to do a little electrical work. Now this is gonna be a dedicated switch and outlet for the reflow oven. So the switch will basically allow me to positively disconnect power to the reflow oven um, since it's definitely not UL certified anymore. And if you got questions about that, you can uh, look up that video in, on my YouTube channel. But this will allow me to disconnect power to the reflow oven without having to unplug it, which is what I've been doing. It's a 30 amp switch, so more than enough amperage rating uh, to uh, to handle the reflow oven. Next we're going to wire the 120 volt outlets that are going to be underneath the shelf. These are just standard home outlets. Uh, there's going to be nine of them and they're basically in packs of three. So there's going to be one outlet in the back and two in the front. So the one in the back will let me plug in equipment from the shelf uh, through the back of the shelf and drape the cord behind the desk. And then the four outlets up front will allow me to plug tools or devices um, that I'm working with on the bench. This was all done with half inch conduit. It is a little bit of a squeeze getting all the wires in there. And then I was not able to get a metal faceplate for the four pack of outlets. Um, hardware store just didn't have the right style I needed to be able to do that. So we're stuck with a plastic one. And off we go again, doing the next set. As you'd expect, these are all 120 volt outlets that are all wired in parallel with each other. They simply just chain off of one another, same as you would see in the house. All the conduits grounded uh, to each other. All the outlets are grounded to the conduit. The conduit's grounded to the main circuit breaker box in the shop. 
and that's grounded to the metal frame of the shop. So the whole thing comes grounded. Now you will notice on this desk there's a metallic tabletop. Um, got this, it's basically an old door from work and uh, they were throwing it out so I took it. Oh, we're basically uh, using that metal tabletop as a work surface and the, the metal tabletop is also grounded. So it works out well. And there were some mistakes made, fortunately. I'll let you guys go ahead and see if you can figure out what's wrong here. Leave what you think is the answer in the comments. This is the finished product from the wiring. Turned out rather nice. Everything's pretty much recessed behind the bottom of the shelf. There's a reflow oven, it's plugged in. It has a switch to turn it on and off. Although I did not account for the clearance I would need to actually use the outlets that are above the reflow oven. Um, we'll just uh, skip using those for the time being. Shouldn't be a big deal. But next we'll bulk process some lumber to make the drawers. So these are one by six pine boards. And we're gonna make six of them. And we'll go ahead and populate those in the desk with 22 inch ball bearing slides and put some face plates on. And there she is. And that's pretty much it. So I actually joined the desk up with the, the big desk, the big computer desk, if you've seen my other videos. And so now it's one ginormous mega desk. Um, there's lights underneath the shelf, but the brightness kind of messed up the, the lighting from the camera, so let's give that another shot. There we go. Much better. And that's the whole video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, this wasn't a step-by-step -step video because it's a desk and it's pretty simple. I think all y'all are pretty uh, smart and able to figure out how to screw two by fours together. Um, but it's a nifty little desk with a lot of capacity and a lot of capability. And looking forward to doing some, some really nice projects on it. So, like I said, go ahead and leave me your comments in the comment section. A like and subscribe and share it around social media. But until next time. We will see you later. Thanks for watching.